Good morning, the wonderful people of NSPPD. My name is uh, Bosco. I'm based in the uh, UK, Liverpool to be precise. I came to England on the year 2009, 25th January 2009, but I have been struggling with my documents. So I moved in here 2009 with my ex-spouse. As one thing led to other, she have to go back to Greece and left me here on my own. So the document I had then expired 2014. When I submitted it to the UK immigration for renewal, they said no, that my spouse is no longer here in the UK, that I have to go back to Nigeria, which I challenge the authority. And I, said, I dragged them to court. As God may have it, 2014, we went to court, and the judge that precised the case decided to issue me a five years visa. I was using that five years until 2019. 2019, I went to renew you know, the document to have a permanent resident, which is called indefinite leave to remain in the UK. Along the line, these guys refuse. They reject that my application. I went back again and get a lawyer, you know, to pursue the case. They, they refused again. They said we should go to upper tribunal. We went to upper tribunal. The, um, the judge, which was handling the case, said that she will not revise what the judge have already judged put in place in 2014, that she will not revise the case. Then, you know, the Home Office, the UK Immigration, refused to accept that decision of the judge. This was happening on March, that I should go to higher court. And all these things cost money. So I submitted this application 2019. On 2020, Sister Sandra Godson from Liverpool sent me the link of NSPPD. He says, you know, join this. There is nothing God cannot do. That what God cannot do does not exist. I insist, you know, following the program, you know, keep following Sunday service, the um, 7 o'clock uh, NSPPD. I was seeing a lot of people sharing their testimonies. And uh, all these testimonies were touching. I said, God, I have to share my own testimony in this fire altar. I said to God, put my case in daddy's mouth so that my case will be mentioned. Or one, one of the, um, these recent uh, days that gone past, daddy was keep mentioning all the people that are suffering from immigration problem. All the people that are suffering from immigration problem. I hear ah. immigration problems. Ah. The Lord is showing mercy. Amen. The Lord is showing mercy Amen. to anyone with immigration oh, problem. Amen. God is showing mercy to anyone Amen. with immigration problem. Let God ever say, in 11 days, ah. some of you before 11 days, ah. Ah. let it be sorted out by fire. Let it be sorted out by fire. Amen. Let it be sorted out by fire. Amen. I keyed on that. I keyed on it. Said God, you will not pass me by. In this fire altar, this is where I will be. You know, as God may have it, caught before the new hearing, I have set put another application on a, on a UK immigration. My brothers and my sisters, for the fact that our case is still ongoing in the other case i put another application for my leave permanent leave to remain they refused me in the other side said we should carry on going to court you know i keep saying i will not be using my money to service neg negativity the new application i submitted god grant me my citizenship my indefinite leave to remain i just want to thank god for his mercy 
because I didn't deserve it. But, you know, God showed me favor. God used Pastor Jelly to clean my eyes. May God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Jelly. May God continue to straighten you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.